How to add the whole Firebase Auth flow to your Flutter app in under 3 minutes. Simply use the predefined sign-in screen widget of the Flutter Fire UI package, whereas you can define which authentication flow you want to support in your Flutter app. If you add the email provider configuration, then you have the sign-up page, the sign-in page, and also a forgot password page automatically integrated inside of your Flutter app. Alternatively, you can also add other configurations too, such as sign in with a phone number or sign in by Google, Facebook, Twitter and so on. To set up all providers correctly, you can go to the Flutterfire UI website and here you can read more about how to set up each of the providers. In this video, I show you how to set up the email provider. Therefore, you need to go first of all to the Firebase console and click on the authentication tab. Click on get started and now you can activate the providers. In our case, we use the email and password provider, enable it and click on save. Next, inside the pubspec YAML file of your Flutter project, you need to add the Firebase OS and Flutter Fire UI packages. Also make sure that you have set up Firebase for your Flutter project. And with this, we can already sign up a user with his email and password in our Flutter app. Inside the Firebase Authentication tab, this user is then created. And lastly, we only need to decide what should happen if the user is signed in. Therefore, we wrap a stream builder around. And here we get with the all state changes every time if the user is signed in or signed out. So if the user is signed in, then we want to navigate to the homepage. Otherwise, we show the sign up screens. With this, if you click on Hot Restart, then it will navigate to the home page because we have signed up our user before. And if the user is signed up, then we go to the home page. And inside of this home page, I have created a logout button. And if we click on this logout button, then we call the sign out method on this Firebase OS package. Let's also try it out. I click on the sign out button and you see we go back to the sign in page. So we go back to the case that the user is not signed in and we display then this inside of our UI. And of course, on the sign-in page, you can use the email and password to sign in again the user. Then we go back to the home page, or you can also click on forgot password, put your email inside and click on reset password. And now automatically an email will be sent to reset the password. So let's click on this link. Let's enter a new password and click on save. Then it says password changed. And lastly, inside the Flutter app, we can use the new password to sign in our user again. Next, we want to customize the UI of our sign in and sign up screens. Therefore, you can define the property header builder and inside of it, I define an image, in our case, a logo. And this logo will be displayed on top of the sign in and sign up page. Next, you can also add some personalized text. Therefore, we add a subtitle builder. And with this, the text will then be displayed inside of our sign up screen, whereas you can define for the sign in and sign up screen a different text. Also, you can add a footer builder. And with this, you can display some text under your sign up page and sign in page. So it is always displayed at the bottom. Besides it, inside of your material app within the theme, you can also change the layout of your page. So you can create a custom text field. And with this, the text field has this border around, or you can also add a custom button. And now you see we have here a blue button instead on the sign in and also on the sign up page. For more customizations, instead of showing the sign in screen, you can also display the register screen, the forgot password screen, the phone input screen and many, many more. Also, once you are signed into your Flutter app, you can display a profile screen where you can change the name of your user, you can delete the account and many more options.